Hey there, everybody. How's it going? This is Bronson from Fretz RV here in Sowerton, Pennsylvania. I decided to show you another product from Winnebago. We'll look at the hike series here. This is the 172BH. This is going to be perfect for those of you looking for a shorter length trailer, only about 21 feet. It's also lightweight, only about 3,400 pounds and great for family. Sleeps up to about four. Take around the outside, the inside here, show you some features. See if this might be the trailer for you. Starting up front right away, of course, we do have a nice power tongue jack up here for you. Makes it nice and simple. Push the button for extend retract. It's got an LED light up here for you. Back behind that, there's a nice big cargo looking box that'll house your standard 20 pound propane tanks. Spot for your battery to go. And after all that's said and done, you've even got a little extra space for throwing some tools and other goodies up here. As you step back, these hikes come with this nice big exoskeleton that goes up around the top, the back. You can tie things down to that, kayaks, other toys and goodies that you want to bring with you. Fiberglass outside walls with an Asdale backing. You of course have a nice big power awning, LED strip under there, some outside speakers for your outdoor entertainment. What these hikes are now sending them with, they actually have power stabilizer jacks. There's just a button on the other side that'll bring them down for the front and the rear. I'll show you this storage bin here. These storage bin doors are nice and thick. As you open this in the front, you've got your first bit of outdoor storage. 30 amp cord is in there right now, but that'll house anything else that you want to bring along with you. They have these brush guards that go along the side. Really nice feature. As you come around, you'll find that you do have an off-road wheel and tire setup. It's going to be great for any of you folks that like to go on different types of terrain. They sit up nice and high also. It'll give you some better ground clearance. Over here, you'll find you've got some outdoor outlets, a black tank flush. Put a hose up and be able to clean out that black holding tank and surprisingly back here you still do get a nice outdoor kitchen area on a unit of this length there's nice magnets that'll hold this door up for you so you don't have to worry about anything else and this will just slide on out Let's see if i can do this one-handed then you've got a two burner cooktop as well as an outdoor sink when you're all done you can put it away latch it away and then the nice slam latch doors it just drops down and they pretty much lock up right by themselves as you step along the back here, you'll see that these are prepped for a Voyager backup camera. You can get a different kind if you like. There's a hitch receiver on the back here also. As you come along the other side, you'll have another spot here. I'll open this up for you. You can see you've got another exterior storage bin. This will go behind your bunk beds that are in the rear. There's a couple switches for those power stabilizer jacks I was mentioning. This is a slide out model, so it'll offer a little bit extra interior space for you, which is great. Like I said, if you bring the family along, even the pets, you'll want that inside extra walk-in space. Also on this side, you'll find your 30 amp power connection, your cable hookup, outdoor shower, it does have your city water tank fill over here, furnace exhaust, your water heater, and the dumping tanks actually uh, sit up a little bit higher than uh, most. So it's really nice, you don't have to bend down too far, pretty accessible for you. These Winnebago hikes are also coming now with the solar already on the roof. You've got the solar controller already installed. You can add extra panels if you like. They're also coming with tank heating pads already installed. Walking into these hikes, I really love the finish of these, the way the cabinets look, the countertops look now. Winnebago's done a really nice job with updating all the interiors of their, of their models. Even the cabinets up above, really nice, sleek, modern looking finish. And of course, you get all the great standard features, which come with the Winnebago. Starting on the inside here, first thing you'll notice, big U-shaped dinette. Again, family trailer. You got the space for the family. This tabletop will drop down. You'll be able to sleep two here real comfortably. Got some overhead hang kind of storage up in here. Outlets up above. You'll find some USB for plugging in your devices. And even more outlets right down below here. Fit the storage where you can. They open up this door here and you can access that exterior storage bin, which we saw from the outside. If you're sitting on your nice big dinette, you wanna get some entertainment going, you've got your nice big TV there. Above that, you'll find your Connects entertainment system for your uh, music. You can connect your phone right to there. Up above that, you'll find your main switches. You've got your awning in and out switch, your slide. You've got uh, some light switches. Check your tank levels. Your water heater is gas and electric. Tank heaters for those holding tanks, they'll have the pads on them. You can flip that switch up and that'll turn on those power heaters for you. And that's just your slide out switch there again. Nice big roof mounted AC, so you don't have to worry about the wall mounted one. This is gonna cool this thing down in minutes. Then you of course have the furnace for your heater. As you walk back some more, your bathroom a little tight, but 
has everything you need. You've got the toilet, you've got the shower, which is actually a pretty decent size. Got the exhaust fan, and they still fit a sink in here, which is nice, so you don't have to come out, wash your hands in the, in the kitchen sink or anything. And then some storage right down below there. But there's still, don't forget the Madison cabinet either. I wanna come back here just so I make sure that I show you what the storage looks like underneath your entertainment system. As you come back some more, you'll find your bunk beds. These are a little wider than the standard single bunks. So these are actually a really nice size. They support up to 250 pounds. There is USB ports up above. You've got LED lighting throughout. And for your galley area here, you open up this door, nice big storage in here in these cabinets. You'll find two lower drawers, which are pretty deep, and pretty long. Stainless steel sink, of course. Great two burner cooktop above that. You've got some place for maybe some bowls, some plates, some cups to bring along. You've got some outlets here. Make sure we see you got drawers on the opposite side. Also, these are even longer than the previous ones. And the cabinetry under here, that is very deep. There's also a sink cover that comes on top of this sink. Your microwave, since you don't have an oven on board, is going to be convection, so you can work like an oven. Pop this open. And you've got the chest-style Dometic fridge. Shelves in the middle, shelves on the side. you still got the freezer up above here. And that'll run off gas and electric. Your shades for your windows, very simple. Just drop down shades for your privacy. And you can open up both side windows for some nice ventilation. A little bit of cross breeze coming in. That's it, man. These hikes are really nice. The flooring, great finish to them also. Again, this is the Winnebago Hike 172BH here at Fretz RV of Sowerton, Pennsylvania. My name is Bronson. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments and let me know. Give me a call at the dealership. I'll be glad to help you. Subscribe. I'll be bringing out uh, plenty more content. If you want to keep up with that, hit the notification button. I've got plenty more trailers coming in for 22s. They're all starting to roll in now. Plenty of fifth wheels, uh, motorhomes, class A, B, C, you name it. Uh, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.